So change is actually happening all the time. When you want to see changes around you, first search for changes inside of you. Change management starts with the change of the management because in most projects the management team explains us how their people should change. Change is here to stay. MDI can definitely help. Change is the only constant in life. Just look around. Changes don't happen occasionally. They happen all the time. Today, we welcome our expert Ozan, who will share with us some valuable tools for leaders in change situations. He says successful leaders value and apply the following two principles. First, change is natural, so blend with it. Second, Change is powerful, so ride on it. Is change really nature? Let's see how it is. Did you notice the difference between human beings and the nature? How nature accepts the change as this, and it evolves into even something more beautiful? And how human beings trying to react against it, they get even more stuck and even more depressed. The definition of change in the dictionary is to make or to become different. But why then human beings don't like change though? In fact, we do. We love change when it's initiated by ourselves. But we hate it if somebody else does it for us. Ah, so you mean uh, it's okay for me if I change the date for my holiday, for my vacation by myself, but I would hate it if my boss would tell me to cancel it due to work reasons. Absolutely. But Ozan, what to do if there is no balance between the urgency and the willingness to change? Oh, then that's a problem, Masha. Let's suppose it is a very urgent case, but your people are not willing or not capable to change. This is what we call the crisis. And that resistance will be very emotional. Because when people feel that they are not adequate, they are not capable, they show very strong resistance in an emotional way. I mean, that sounds like a challenge. What do you recommend? We have another tool for that. So? When you announce the change, the first response from your people, they are shocked. And they deny that change is coming. And the second response will be, they are going to feel very angry. And they will try to move against it. Once they understand that the change is inevitable and they don't have the power to control it, what do you think they do? They just ignore it. They just move aside and they say, you do your change and I will be here. Honestly speaking, Ozan, at the moment this doesn't sound very motivating. The tool is not working right. But as a leader, if you're able to understand the emotions and if you let your people get in the picture, ask about their ideas, just make them comfortable so that they can test a little bit from the change and they become successful. As a leader, you need to support them so that they become successful. There comes the buy-in. What if the buy-in comes as a leader, you need to be able to execute the change applying a system. Do you think it's enough? That you're done with the change? I mean, this is what some companies already do. What we hear from our clients and our leaders in the trainings is that sometimes you reach the change goal, but after that, after a while, everything falls back. Yes, and the reason is mostly the leadership. Because the leadership thinks it's over. In order that change becomes a culture, the leadership support should be very persistent. And you know what? I can show this to you physically. Really? Yes, we're going to do some Aikido in a moment. I'm curious. Let's do that. What do you think, Masha? Wow, I mean, it looks really impressive. 
Frankly speaking, it also looks a little bit like the guy just fell on purpose. Yeah, something like pre-rehearsed. Yeah. And you know what? He falls on purpose okay. because he's an Aikidoka, so he knows how to do that. What if he didn't fall on purpose? What if he tried to react against it? Okay, I mean, then he probably could be injured seriously. Would you like to try it? To be injured? No, not at okay. all, but would you like to feel it? Of course, I mean, if, if we can try it out. Okay, hold on. Can to I my do wrist. that? Okay. And do it strong. Okay, okay. Yeah, good. There you go. Okay, strong, strong, yes. strong. Yes. Yeah, doesn't yes. work. So, first thing I do, I just go down. Okay. Like my ego. Yeah. <laughs> and move gently around. Oh, it. wow. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I got it. I think I got it. Wow. That's it, powerful. It is very powerful. But it doesn't look so powerful when we see it. How does it look like? Uh, maybe more like dancing or something like this. It's beautiful, but yeah. Absolutely. It's beautiful and it's powerful. Let me explain what Aikido is. Yes. I is the harmony. Ki is the universal energy. And Do is the path. So Aikido is the way of harmony with the universal energy. And this is how we Aikidokas can blend with the attack and can lead very powerful attacks in the way we want them to go. Oh, wow. That sounds a little bit like a strategy also for change management. Absolutely. And we are going to do one thing for the first time in the history right now. Tell me. We have another tool that we explain eight steps how to manage the emotional care we talked about. And we are going to explain it with Aikido steps. Wow, now I'm really curious. Let's do that. Yeah. You remember how people react when change is announced? Shock, denial, anger. It is the same thing when you're physically attacked in Aikido as well. We feel shock, we feel denial, and we feel loss. That's why our instructors teach us how to be ready anytime for any kind of attack and how to have a 360 degree awareness when you're being attacked. Okay, so here we could find the connection when it comes to change leadership, right? Absolutely. So one task could be for a leader to create something like a sense of urgency and also create a team to develop an effective strategy. And the awareness. Absolutely, that makes sense. So you see, when I can overcome my fear, in other words, shock and denial part, I'm not judging the attack anymore. And when I don't judge the attack, I just become one with it. I blend with the attack. And when I blend with the attack, I can move in circles. And moving in circles in Aikido means you have infinite options of techniques. So that means if me as a leader if it's possible for me to create an environment where not judging but understanding and acceptance of the change is possible, that this will lead the whole organization also to the capability to deal with obstacles in a more constructive way. Absolutely. Did you notice how I finished my technique? Uh, yes, somehow you stayed in this uh, Aikido position, right? Absolutely. In Japanese language, we call it Zanshin. Mm -hmm. And how would you know that wouldn't be another attack? So that is why we keep the Aikido position all the way long. Okay, and so that is maybe also why the leader should stay persistent so that the change can become a culture. Absolutely. You're the first person in history that explain change management with Aikido. Oh wow, I didn't know that, but thank you for helping me to do that. You're very welcome.